and it looked like it's sufficient, but it also looks like uh, uh, people have no freedom, and, uh, yeah, and a lot of, there's a lot of people there, I think, that uh, uh, would benefit uh, from visits with people on the outside. Uh, I never got an answer on how much uh, a phone call costs, uh, and uh, I know they have access to phones, but I'm also concerned that uh, some of this might not be affordable. But then we may be able to uh, work something out with Civic, and if uh, Civic can negotiate with them for a pro bono line, uh, that may uh, be a way of helping uh, immigrants here that are in isolation from their families uh, be able to communicate easier. How about you guys? How did you feel? We're all really cold, aren't we? <laughs> it, is, it's snow. it is pretty much snowing here yeah. right now. In California. In California. <laughs> I, so was, I was just thinking about what I would feel if I were there. A facility was nice for a, a prison, but no matter how nice the facility, you're still alone and you're, you're still inside and you're still not where you want to be. It's lonely, I think. Um, I think a reference was made a couple times about like our customers come from yeah. these prisons, our customers come from these jails, yeah, like, that, and it kind of just that yeah, kind of bothered me. Yeah. It totally bothered. It's like yeah. customers, they're not, you know, they're not getting the service that they want. They're not yes. getting, you know, and, it, and it, it's it's kind of crazy because she is a for-profit prison, and so it's like our customers. It, it just really reinforces that you know immigrant for sale type of mentality. Yeah. Oh,